It's time for a math experiment. Who's excited? We are going to discover what circumference is all about. So, for this activity, you're going to need a couple of things. One, you're going to want a circle. Find something in your house that is any size, any shape. It's not going to matter. Just make sure it's a circle. You're also going to want some scissors. You're also going to want either some wiki sticks or you can use yarn. It's not as fun though, let's be honest. Uh, I've thought about using just boiled spaghetti noodles. Those also would work, but wiki sticks are a less starchy version of those. Wiki sticks you can buy just about anywhere and they're basically yarn covered in wax. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trace my circle. Now that you've got your circle traced, I want you to take your wiki stick and we need to measure the diameter as closely as possible and cut our wiki stick to be the diameter. Remember, the diameter goes all the way through my circle from one side to the next and going through the center point. This is not a radius, which is only half of the diameter. Now that we've got our diameter. What we're gonna do is we're gonna see how many times it goes around the circle. Again, your circle is gonna be a different size than mine and that's perfectly okay. We're gonna see if it's all the same. So pick any point on the circle and let's start by wrapping the diameter around. Now you'll notice that you wanna try and do it as perfectly as you can to the edge of the circle. And then what we're gonna wanna do is to make a mark where I stopped and where I finished. So here I finished, whoops. So my wiki stick doesn't stick very well to my board here with the marker, but yours will stick better to your paper. So you can see that I've measured one diameter. Now let's go again, pick it up, put it on where you stopped and keep wrapping it around your circle. And again, you're gonna wanna mark where that also stops. So I'm gonna make a mark right here. Okay, and then I'm gonna pick it up and do it again. So you can see that mine ends right about there, okay? So I want you to think about how many times did your wiki stick go around the circle? Hmm, well, I see that from here to here was one time. From here to here was two times. And from here to here was three times. But then I noticed that it looks like there was just a little bit more that it didn't connect. So could we say that your diameter goes around your circle three times and a little bit more? Hmm. How do we quantify that little bit more? Are you remembering anything about pie. No, I'm not talking about pumpkin pie. I'm talking about mathematical pie. Maybe you remember that pie equals 3.14 and it keeps on going for a really long time, right? It's an irrational number. It never stops. Could we quantify this 0.14, that 14 hundredths, if we want to think about that, as a little bit more? Doesn't it make sense that it's one, two, three, and just a little bit more times that the diameter goes around the circle. Hmm. So now let's go back to thinking about circumference and what's the formula that you remember? You might remember that the formula is circumference equals pi times diameter. Remember we, we can think of multiplication as copies of. So could we think of this as pi copies of the diameter. So when I think of pi copies of, can I think of three and a little bit more copies of the diameter? Isn't circumference the distance around the circle? So if I'm going to measure the circumference of a circle, all I need to do is take pi copies of the diameter. This is where we get the formula circumference equals pi times diameter. What if I wanted to think about what pi actually is? Using a little algebra, I can rearrange my formula, right? If I wanna solve for pi, I just need to divide both sides by the diameter. Okay, so let's check this out. 
So now I'm saying that pi is equivalent to the circumference divided by the diameter. Again, if I'm thinking about division from a conceptual standpoint, I'm thinking about how many copies of the diameter are in the circumference. Are you seeing where I'm going here? So how many copies of the diameter are in the circumference? Three and a little bit more. Hopefully this video was helpful in helping you to better understand where pi comes from and how that relates to circumference and diameter.